now, if you remember correctly, we have to head all the way west to find the castle in which our prince, or not our princess, our queen, is apparently sick. Will the Dark Knight still be there? Well, of course not. That would be too easy. But we will eventually get to the Dark Knight in time. These Walking Dead guys will inflict, um, poison on you. Here is the town. Here's a new enemy, Lieutenant Slicey. If I remember correctly, he gets... 125 experience and... 25 bits of gold? I could be wrong here. Oh, come on. You have 125 and 25 gold. There's also a Lieutenant Dicey, which gives 25 and 125 experience and 30 gold. The difference is he's all decked out in gold armor. Now, one thing you will recognize in this town, where'd everybody go to? There's this, um, kid here, but that's it. There's an inn. I believe this is a church, but I could be mistaken. Yep, it's a church. Any new books to read? Not there. A field manual. Creatures of the night are very terrifying. Well, that's only because you see them in the night. If you saw them in the day, they'd probably look fine. Yeah, this is just a grocery list. I like this game's warped sense of humor. It's very, um... Dull and sarcastic. And I like dull, sarcastic bits of humor. I like warped senses of humor, too. Like, I have the world's most warped sense of humor, and the thing is... I just assume people know. I'm joking when I... Starts telling them a bullshit story and they don't realize I'm telling a joke. I have some people convinced that I have an ex girlfriend facing homicide charges because she farted while wearing a butt plug and it shot out like a bullet and killed someone two blocks away. They actually managed to phone a lawyer on her behalf, who contacted me <coughs> and um, was willing to represent my girlfriend, of which I had no idea what the hell he was talking about, till it dawned on me, oh, he means the, um, Women, I was obviously joking about. Ever have to explain to a lawyer that no, you don't have an ex-girlfriend facing homicide charges because she farted while wearing a butt plug? It's kind of, um... Humiliating's not the wrong, not the right word. Neither is embarrassing. You feel it's... You're not embarrassed for yourself, you're embarrassed for them. Uh... You can't believe they are actually so stupid... ...as to believe such... ...such fucking bullshit. I had people... ...years after the fact... When I worked at Savage Arms, which was like seven, eight or so years ago, some of them still believe that I get blow dogs from my pet snakes. The way that rumor started was, um, I told my lead hand that I don't need a girlfriend, I have a pet snake that can strip and swallow. Well, apparently that started spreading around, and I only found out a few years ago that people at Savage Arms 
apparently believe this about me. Fucking morons. Absolutely fucking morons. I cannot believe that people can be this fucking stupid. But that's the thing, I don't think people are this stupid, I think I make them stupid. I don't know what it is about me that people are willing to believe everything I say, but they do! And it's bloody terrifying! Like, I... There are people I know who will tell bullshit like, yeah, I picked up some woman at a bar, or whatever, and that they don't believe. But I tell them, um, something like I have an ex-girlfriend who farted while wearing a butt plug and it killed someone. That's they're willing to believe. Why? What is it about me that people will believe anything I say where with other people, they tell bullshit that is arguably not as obvious bullshit. And they go, oh no, you're full of shit. Where with me, they go, oh, he says that it must be true. I honestly don't know what it is. It's... I don't know whether... I should start a cult or what? It's... It could be easy for me to do. I will admit I could probably very easily find a cult. Or find a cult. Found a cult. But I'm not a religious person. So, what good is it for me to do? I want to banish the world of religion, not spread my own. By the way, this is where the game takes a, um... More of a fantasy term. Everybody recognizes this trope. And find the pieces of mystical, legendary equipment and armor. One's in a volcano, one's in a desert. One somewhere else, I forgot where. I'm on that place in the Vita now, just so I forget where it is. And yeah. This game plays all the tropes very well. And yet, that's what makes it so charming. I cannot stress just how much I like this game, okay? So anyways, off we go to, um, the, um, volcano. Now, where is the volcano? Well, first, before we even think about going to a volcano, let's talk to the people in town who are suddenly... <coughs> another burp here. Where were they before? I don't know. Who knows? Who cares? Maybe they were all hiding away from the Dark Knight, and when they realized our hero Ogden came by, they thought, oops, everything must be fine now. By the way, obviously, you go on that ship, but first... I want to level grind. What kind of equipment and armor will I get now? What equipment do I have now? I already have an iron sword. So I don't need anything from here, do I? No, so what I need is um iron armor and iron helmet. Both of which I can buy. Well, I can buy one of each right now. I'll buy the iron helmet now. Get rid of the, um... Wooden helmet. 
I'll meet you guys next episode at the pirate ship, or at the ship, okay? Okay, take care all. Bye.